Hello, and welcome to a quick overview of our IQ CPQ solution. My name is Jeff Underdahl, and I'm the Vice President of Technical Sales and Product Strategy here at Luxon. The goal of this brief introduction is to give you a view of the user experience and how to navigate the interface. So let's move into the software and do just that. I'm now looking at an opportunity record inside of Salesforce. The name of this opportunity is Data Center, and the account is Daystrom Data Concepts. If I look a little below that, I can see the roles that are tied to this opportunity, and I can also see the quote or quotes at the bottom of it that are tied to this op. Now, if the customer needs a new quote created, I can easily click on that button right down there, or if they need to make an adjustment to an existing quote that's already out there, like adding another line item or making a discount adjustment, I can easily come into here, click on that, and bring that quote record into context. So now here I am over in the IQ product, looking at this quote record, seeing all the information about my customer from the opportunity, again, contact information, and any, uh, any other pertinent information as it relates to the status of the quote, the name of it, the price book that was pulled from the customer, as well as the related opportunity information. Once I've done that and made any adjustments there that are necessary, I can click on the search and add page up there, and I can now bring myself to the line items for this quote and make any adjustments or additions or removals that I need to here. This quote has four line items on it. I can see my quantity, my pricing, my discount, my subtotals and line totals, and I can even see my margin for each of those line items over on the very far right. And if I scroll to the bottom of this page, I can even see a blended margin amount for that quote at large. Now in this scenario, the customer wants to do a couple of things. They want to make an adjustment to the configuration of this computer workstation, and they also want to add another product to it. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to click on the edit selection right there, which is going to bring the line item up for that workstation. Now I can see more information on the product right here if I want, like possibly upsell or cross sell parts or any other related products. I can see the configuration as it exists today, and it's this processor that they want to make a change to. They want to upgrade it from an i3 to an i5. So very easy for me to edit that configuration, open the product configurator up, and see all of the questions and answers that were already filled out by a sales rep sometime in the past. Now I can also see over on the right there the price of this, which is just over $1,000, and I can even see the smart string that's been generated as a result of this configuration. This customer is simply looking to update the processor so it has more power, and from there they also want to make an adjustment over at the warranties and support page and even go a little bit more than just the standard one-year warranty that it comes with, and they want to upgrade to a three-year warranty right here, which I can easily do. And I can see those changes to the processor and the warranty affecting my price and also affecting my smart string part number. The i3 is now an i7 at the beginning of the string there, and I've got a custom action here that shows me that I've now selected this three-year on-site optional warranty, and it's now going to get added to the quote as an additional line item. So when I come out of here and save and exit, this is going to take me back to the line of that quote, and we're going to see a couple of things when we get back there. The change in the price is certainly going to be reflected, but we're also going to see an additional line item underneath it for that three-year on-site warranty, and we can see that coming in as follows. Now this customer also wanted to add another product to it, which in this case was a leather carrying case. I can easily go up to my type ahead search there, find that, click on it, and add it as a sixth line item to my quote there. Some customers like to be able to change the order of how their customers are going to see it. So if I wanted to take the leather briefcase and I wanted to move it to the top of the list, I could easily reorder each of the lines on that quote, resave it, and now that leather carrying case is line one. So I've got this quote looking pretty much the way that I want it to, except for the fact that this customer is asking for a big discount on that leather carrying case. So again, I could drill into that line item, make any changes to that line that I would want to, like increasing the discount to the tune of about 35%, which is what they're requesting. And as I select OK to that and say, all right, I can now see that it's going to have an effect on my margin, and it's also going to require approval from my manager. So that when I now come over into the review and send page and I go to send that quote out, what you're going to see now is instead of just simply being able to move on, I now need to submit this for approval. Now, of course, the fun part of being the system administrator in these demos is that I can skip that process and I can go right to emailing the acknowledgement out. I can send the email off. I can type in a body into here and make it say whatever I want. I could go in here and grab any of my native Salesforce templates. 
I can attach that quote document to this record and I can have any number of quote templates that I would want. I can say OK to that, upload it in, and then save that off as an attachment. I can see that gets selected and checked and added in there. Any other attachments that are part of this quote, I can check that box and include those if I wanted to. And I can say OK and I can send this off and I can say that my email has been sent. So a real easy process to see the quote, make any changes to it, make the updates, send out the new acknowledgement, and I can move on with an updated opportunity inside of Salesforce. And that brings our introduction of IQ to a close. If you're interested in seeing more of the product, we have a longer, more detailed demonstration on our website that covers the following topics in quite a bit more detail. So if we were to look specifically at some of the things you would see in that other recording, you would see things like guided selling, which is a environment where I can have questions and answers that I present to my user that guide them to the right products. And those products may be configured or not. Certainly you got a little bit of a flavor of the configurator just now in my presentation. The next one actually goes into a lot more detail. And industry functionality, we do a lot for in manufacturing and distribution and also software and services as it relates to configurations, um, as you saw here, even developing kits, bills of materials, production routings, a lot of specific industry functionality that you'll learn more about in the other recording. And more than just sending a quote acknowledgement out is sometimes sending complete proposals out that might include uh, supplemental documents, media spreadsheets, uh, presentations, other more detailed content that might need to go on to a full proposal. And then of course, it, it should be said that we are native to the Salesforce platform. So a couple of things there. Again, this is supposed to be just an, uh, a very high level overview of our product. If you'd like to learn more about IQ or our other products and services at Luxent, our contact information is here on this next slide. Feel free to get a hold of us in any one of these ways. And thanks so much for watching.